Hi, my name is Darby Donahoe Lopez and I am from uh, the Rio Grande Valley and I'm a teacher of fourth and fifth grade science lab at Ochoa Elementary. When we got everything set up and I started taking the lessons myself, I was so impressed and I realized the depth that I could take this particular science program with using the computers because the children that get the lesson can move on to a higher level at their own pace. The children that are uh, taking a, a little bit more time to grasp what the concept is about can take the lesson over and over again from the bottom up and just by organizing your classroom around what is given you to teach allows the teacher to have a confidence level when you walk in to know that what's needing to be taught is being taught and then you can take that and see where the kids need to have extra added in instead of teaching everything which is almost impossible to teach a child everything that they need to know about science in a 45 minute period once a day. This I see where the, the child, the student will be taken from the beginning of the school year all the way to the end and have everything they need to have in their pocket to uh, manage their life because science is life and life is science. They do have ears. I told you yesterday. If you can teach science and get the boys, then you've got the girls. So it's just fun to see them come in. Their, their lights are on. It teaches the kids because they, there's so many things that go with each lesson. We've taught them self-reliance. They have to depend on each other. They have a, assignments. One does gets the worksheets, one gets the science experiment, one operates the mouse. It's just they have to decide who all does that themselves. And so just the teamwork that goes on in the system is great too. But the management system has the TEKS loaded in and every day you can click on any given student and you can see exactly what's happening with their TEKS. Whether they understand a particular uh, knowledge or, or where they are at that on that particular TEKS and because of that that helps us to teach not to the test you teach the test and, and this system teaches beyond the test as well so there are things in here that goes into a little bit more depth than what they need for the for the test but it teaches everything that they need for the, the state assessment. Each lesson is a very strong lesson meaning that it goes deeper than what they need for the test so you're not teaching to the test. I, I don't like that as a teacher just to teach to the test. So when you go deeper than what they, the knowledge that they, that they need, kids know that. They know when you're teaching to the test and when you're teaching them because you, they have to have certain bits of knowledge. Also, too, what's so exciting in the management system is that I'm not having to grade papers. And I can sit with the child immediately after they finish a test and look at what they've missed or, or congratulate them on their top grade and reteach immediately at, at that point. So we have conferences at my station all, all day long. The children that are Spanish dominant that come into this lab have been kind of a mixed bag of their depth of their just their language. They have had the opportunity to take their lesson not only in Spanish but in English and it really has helped them to get the, to grasp the lesson on both levels. I have seen that they are reading much better. So how this is going into the other areas of their curriculum, I have asked their teachers, when you take them back to the classroom, have you seen a change? And just because they're being able to read better is helping them with their math and their social studies and, and reading in general. Well, of course, vocabulary is all around the room. And we've had to do all kinds of things in order to get the children to realize that the words that are on the wall are not there for decoration. And uh, we've done all kinds of fun things with the, the words that are on the wall. And they're starting to use words like thrive and perish, which is exciting, because those aren't words that you normally use. Um, so the, we used density yesterday. The kids on their own came up with that word density and that's exciting. So it has, depth, has put a depth into their vocabulary. 
My name is Celia Martinez. I'm principal at Antonio M. Ochoa Elementary School in Donna, Texas. Several positive things have happened uh, since school started. One of the things has been that the, our students are talking more and more, using more scientific terminology in the hallways, in the cafeteria, even here in the office when, when we talk to them and so forth. They're talking more about experiments and, and so forth. We have um, Recently I had a third grade student approach me telling me that he could hardly wait to get to fourth grade. And I said, why is that? And he said, well, I have to be in fourth and fifth so I can go into the science lab. So I, w I can hardly wait, miss, I want to go into the science lab. The teachers, the teachers themselves, I've seen them this year a lot more involved in, in science and wanting to teach science with a passion and real bubbling and so forth and uh, excitement. And if the teachers have this excitement, they can't help but just filter it into the students. The students, I've been into the, into the classroom several times, and the students are just excited about going in. They go in, they do the large group instruction for a few minutes. They go into the, computer, into the computers, they input, go, start working on their experiments, start working on their worksheets, and they start discussing by partners. There's two to a computer, so they start discussing as to how they're doing their worksheet, and, um, and it's working out beautifully. It, it really is. I think I've seen a, uh, a classroom recently that I was in there where they were looking at an item that was separation of oil with water, and uh, the classroom teacher was, was trying to get them to use certain terminology and said, remember boys and girls when we were in the classroom, what was it that we call that? What do we call it? What do we call it? They finally said, oh yes, miss, I remember density. Yes, density. So by me listening to that, I know that it's happening in the classroom and not just in the lab. Some of the worksheets have to do with equations, and that brings some of the math in as well. And I know that when they're discussing every now and then as the teacher goes around, or even the lab teacher, any of the adults go around, if we notice that the students are using, uh, making sentences and using the wrong syntax, we kind of stop them and correct them with the English syntax, so that brings in some of the grammar as, as well. So we can help but to integrate the subject areas along with it. Um, I think someone was in, asked me one time, um, Ms. Martinez, do you feel that you know this is automatically bringing in your, your science course or they're going to be coming up? I said, well, actually, I can't say, answer that whether or not they're they're coming up because we don't do our science assessment until April. But what I can tell you is that once the students are working in there and they're integrating it with all subject areas and they're feeling very positive about their self-esteem and they see the, the teachers being so so excited about it as well, well, they know that there's, there's no way, there's no doubt in my mind that the scores are automatically going to go up because all the objectives that the state is saying that we need to cover are being covered. And between now and the time that we do get assessed by the state, all objectives would have been covered through the different lessons.